When Snowshoe Mountain Resort in West Virginia cut the ribbon on this ski season, December 2nd, skiers were chomping at the bit. <laughs> the lifts began running a little later this season across the mid-Atlantic, thanks to a November that was warmer and drier than normal. But lack of natural snow in recent years hasn't deterred the ski industry. We want to get open as soon as we can. We look at the weather 10 times a day. Uh, I drain the phone, the battery on my phone because I'm looking at it so much. And again, we want to open as early as we can, but we don't get too stressed. We know that as soon as that cold weather hits, we're able to fire up the snowmaking guns and we can make our own snow. A state-of-the-art snowmaking system like the one here at Hidden Valley can really crank out the snow. In fact, under ideal conditions, theoretically making snow 24 hours a day, it could take a slope from green to skiable in just five days. It's a tremendous advantage when we have automated snow, an automated snowmaking system that we can really control from one central location. Each snow gun has its own weather station, and so it can control itself when you set a quality of snow, which is pretty cool. Resort opening and closing dates the past 20 years don't really fall into any sort of pattern. Holiday Valley in western New York saw its shortest ski season in 2010-2011 and its longest in 2014-15. Wisp, near Deep Creek in western Maryland, had its shortest season in 2016-2017. But last year, skiers there hit the slopes Thanksgiving weekend and enjoyed their longest ever season through March 25th. Seven Springs also marked its highest number of winter operating days last season, welcoming skiers 123 days from November 25th through April 2nd. So how did two local resorts manage their longest seasons ever during our eighth least snowy winter on record? We were able to stockpile in certain areas and, you know, the team and I, we made some key decisions at the right moments to expand on terrain at the right times. And it can be a little bit of a gamble. You're looking at what the weather is going to do for you coming up. And it just happened to be the, the a great serendipitous moment of, of the right data, the right decision at the right time. 